and so guys we are one week away from the first half if there are more episodes afterwards um i'll let you know but next week is the last episode of core one of hell's paradise and it's been a ride it's been crazy so far and things are just escalating the more from here on out okay so they figure out what tan is basically the yin and the yang and what they wanted to do to may and everything um trying to bring her back since she's the only one of the tension who doesn't have the yin and yang uh key or qualities okay she only has yin which is a feminine energy right so they basically kicked her out of paradise and so now they they have the doshi who they face off against chobe looks like he is slowly but surely transforming and i don't think that's a good thing i don't think any of us is that because he continues to eat or drink the blood of the socians the bigger monsters the doshi are basically the right hands of attention so um and then we have gabi maru who basically figured out the yin and the yang right and he was able to defeat them so he's growing in terms of not only characterization but also in in newfound powers or finding a balance but the episode ended where sakuri and the others found one of the other tension the one with the orange hair so um let's see how that's going to go down in hell's paradise episode 12. yeah and they cut off Poco's head, our group, killing him. No, he had pink art. My bad, my colors. The first in a thousand days, the first to reach in a thousand years. Oh, she knows it. Oh! He cut. He caught up to her. And now this is their first time fencing against um the tension. Oh, Hoko ain't dead. Jiu Jun. Ju Jin, Ju Jin, that's his name. That's their name. Yeah. Oh, thank God, Hoko's not dead. He simply accelerated his transformation. No. Oh, damn. So where do you go when they die? So what happened? They turn into tree bark and what happens to them? It's a place where I could nothing experience from life. So everybody that lives on the island except for the tents and our experiments. And the humans that come there are research material. Wow. Kill she? Yeah, high quality humans are turning to ton. So there's no elixir of life. No such thing. If the human consumes it, they turn into. So if they consume the elixir, if a human consumes it, they basically turn into Hoko. They have eternal life, but not internal youth. That's crazy. 
That's crazy. Oh, how she sweet. Oh, that was like a fatality. So basically, they sent them to die. I've been saying this, but they sent them to die. So that makes me question, what the heck did Gabimaru's chief of his village, what did he consume? Oh no. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, she can see town? Key! In her village they call it key. Okay, basically chakra. Oh, my boy, Sita. What? He's gonna, they're gonna teach her how to use towel. Shoot. Does Seita have feelings for her? Oh. That was this in strike? Oh, hey, hey. Oh, Seita? Oh, that helps her produce a slime. Slime string, what? Oh, she can secrete her. Oh. Yo, this is it. What the hell? I mean, what other choice? Shut up. It's say tummies, that's their weakness. And Hoko's no help. Yeah, don't you care about me? Oh. 
ordinary amount of time. Oh. Oh, she got him in the tummy. She got him in the tummy. Oh. Yeah, from the stomach is basically your root chakra. Sever his tummy. Oh, wow. You haven't met Gabi Mario, my boy. <laughs> you haven't. Oh, she's raising her time. <laughs> what? Oh, boy. So basically, Sagari was the first person to really use Tao, but we never realized it. Yeah. Because she's really the first person after they face the, the big guy who... Roka Rota, that's how she, yeah, that's what I was saying. Her towel is poison to to them. Did they turn it? Oh no. Oh Did he just, what the, oh wow. Wow. Wow, what the? Did he just leap with no limbs? So manipulating the towel in the air. Bro. Oh no, she oh bro. bro okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because Sakri's own is literally poison to them.
Bro. Might as well. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> like, don't kill me at the same time. They killed him. Did they kill? Please tell me that they killed him. They really killed him. That's what I'm wondering too. So none of the criminals can be um, excused. Yeah, Santa, you have feelings for a user video? Mm-hmm. Oh, you envy how free she is. Something told me this is not it, bro. Yeah, he, he, yeah, Santa doesn't look like he's meant to be an executioner from the jump. Why you call him a raccoon dog? <laughs> you sure you fell for her ninja suit? I hope they don't get into trouble when they get back home. I hate when they do because I thought something bad was about to happen.
mm, yeah, his wife. Bobby Morrow is not that cold, man. Oh, he is bleeding from the nose too? Oh no, not Oh no, they're transforming. No, not Sita. No. That's one morbid way of saying she's beautiful with heads falling around her. Oh no, he's turning into one of them. Sita. I knew something bad was going to happen. Bro, she, you have to give it to Sheon, bro. Bro, if anything happens to Sheon, I'm tired. I'm tired. If anything happens to Sheon, they already took Tenza. They already took Tenza. They just took Santa. If anything happens to Sheon, bro. Something was telling me something bad is gonna happen. Like they did not fully kill, kill them. They didn't. And I was right. They transformed. And Santa saved Yuzuria. Okay. And turned into the flower. Okay. And with Sakuri, she obviously can produce Tao as, as well, right? But um, as they clearly showed in this episode, her Tao, hopefully as more episodes, <laughs> as more episodes go by, um, or we get core two, they explain why is her Tao so dangerous? Why is it so poisonous to them in particular, right? And she can only use it basically in spurts or when she does breathing, um, you know, like a uh, demon slayer breathing techniques, right? She breathes in and you know uh execute and able to use it in great bursts but at the same time it looks like for humans if they use too much at the same time or too rapidly there is a side effect aka they start to they're injured from the inside out right hence why the bleeding from the nose that we saw with both sagari and then with gabimaru right and the thing is sagari was always using it from uh roku uh rokuto right the balance between like calm and, and raging waves that type of um metaphor that they use but she never was able to truly never saw her truly execute it until this episode okay and um as much as Yuzuriya you know she's a kun uh, kunoichi and you know it's it's her duty to lie and everything we see where she can have moments of her humanity and she can be very straightforward and she does care but her occupation her profession 
But, um, oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. And her techniques are pretty awesome. Pretty, like, she secretes whatever she drinks. She can secrete it out as slime and all that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> pretty cool. I know people's going to think of it another way, but that's actually pretty awesome, her techniques and everything. So all this time, you know, she kind of had us all playing a fool. And we didn't really know what she was capable of until this episode. But man, rest in peace, Saito. You didn't deserve that. Like, especially when you find out that originally he just wanted to be able to read and draw. But he was denied that because of the family he was born into. So he had the Yamada clan. So he was basically forced into upholding, so especially since he was male. He had to uphold the family tradition of becoming an executioner. And the, he lived by the sword and he... Well, he didn't die by the sword, but he lived a life of killing. Um, no matter how you try to justify it. And he, he died by such. For, for a character that you can tell from off the bat when he first introduced, he, he never was about this type of lifestyle. And it's so unfortunate to see that happen, man. You know, he's alive, but he's dead. That's the worst way to go out. You know, but um, Shion came to save um, Sakuri and Yuzuriya at the last moment. And um, that means newer guy is with him. So we'll see how next week's final episode goes down. Cause oh boy, my heart, my heart nearly dropped out until until he came to save them. I thank God for Shion. Thank, thank. Now we can play you and see what he's capable of. But guys, do tell me in the comment section below on how you felt about this week's episode of Hell's Paradise, episode twelve. Um, do you think um in future episodes, Sakuri's gonna be able to somewhat understand her towel a little bit better and utilize it since it is literally poison to the Tencent and weaponize it enough to protect everybody else that's on the island. Um, how do you think the, uh, next week's final episode is going to go down? Leave your comments down below. The links are in the description box. Also remember to hit the subscribe and hit the bell so you guys are notified when new videos and new posts are being uploaded. And I'm Kimmy Chan of Anime Legends. And I will see you guys later. Bye.